coin burning. So why I it's an honest question to the audience. Why do people think it's possible to burn ADA? It's not. It's not. It, I own some ADA. You guys have some ADA. To burn ADA, you physically have to forcibly confiscate ADA from somebody and destroy it. As for changing the monetary policy of Cardano, you know, there's only ever going to be 41 billion, 45 billion ADA. That's like going to Bitcoin and saying, well, there's 21 million Bitcoin theoretical maximum. Let's go take that to 19 billion. You're, you're destroying the integrity of the entire cryptocurrency's monetary policy by tinkering with a monetary policy that was set years ago. And that social contract is built by four years of, of purchasing decisions of people entering the ecosystem. So I don't understand why people keep thinking a burn is possible or desirable. And in every case a burn has happened, it has not resulted in my knowledge, like Stellar, when they destroyed a huge amount of reserve supply, in that case it was held by a foundation, it didn't actually do anything for the underlying price of the asset. So I don't understand it. I just don't. The monetary policy is the monetary policy. No one can change it. It's there. And until the governance system gets so sophisticated that a supermajority of the people can vote on something like that, there's not going to be any attempt to even modify change the inflation rate at all. So the only way to burn ADA is either to have a person voluntarily do it, and so they decide to destroy their own money, they put a dollar on the table, set it on fire, or to hack someone and steal their money somehow, and then destroy their money. In both cases, you're advocating basically theft or stupidity for your own enrichment. So I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Maybe the audience here can help me, but it's it's been a bugbear of mine for a long time, and it just keeps coming up again and again, and articles come out, and it's a fixed supply, guys. It's like Bitcoin. That monetary policy makes sense. There's 12 years of history there. It's created $2 trillion of wealth. It created an entire ecosystem. Why should there be deviation and manipulation for short-term speculators who don't care at all about the ecosystem. That's not the point. It's a social contract. Code is law. Once you set these things, you don't change these things. Uh, unless there's a constitutional amendment process and a stage process as ubiquitously agreed for doing so. And, and burning is just against everything that I stand for as a person and I have no control or choice. Even if I wanted to do it, there's no mechanism in Cardano to enable that. It's fixed like Bitcoin is.